right guys so my husband just reminded me that i wanted to film this so we kind of already started but basically we have begun making the rabbit hutch this is some old hardwood flooring from my dad's house his house actually flooded and all of this wood got ruined we have an entire truckload full right there of wood to use out there is our chicken coop and we have a bunch of extra wire the rabbit hutch is going to be 12 feet by 4 feet which we both think is plenty of room and then also we decided to make such high walls just so that we can minimize if there are predators lurking around the rabbits can't see them so they probably will do better with stress and as you can see because this is actually hardwood floor it's got the grooves that just slides right in i think we're gonna do only one end of it is going to have wire so they can actually see out and the rest will just be completely covered so ended up getting the rabbits before the hutch is done so we definitely still need to work on the hutch and finish it up but for now I did want to show you what they look like so we just picked them up from my aunt's house today all right so we just put them in this box on the way home I know it's not a pet carrier but <laughs> anyways from what we can see they look both like females but she did mention that if they turn out to be um, opposite genders, we can always switch one out so that they can be the same. We have this little white guy and then we have this little dark brown, almost black. Their mother is a Rex and their father is a lion head, I think. And they're born on Christmas day. And I'm going to set up where they're gonna sleep for the night because like I said, their hutch is not yet ready for them. We have the bedding here, their pellets, and then they're watering can. I'm gonna try this out and see how I like it. It's gravity water system. So I'm gonna see if this works for them. And they're very, very used to drinking out of water bottles, but I personally don't want to use water bottles because I've heard that rabbits can easily become dehydrated because they just don't drink enough. And this is a much more natural way for them to get their water. I just ordered this on Amazon. It's called Oxbow Essentials Young Rabbit Food. I specifically got this because I knew that they are a little younger and it's better to have more uh, alfalfa hay in there than Timothy hay for now. So for those of you who don't know, honestly, probably no one knows because I've never said it, but um, this channel is actually my second YouTube channel. I actually have another YouTube channel called The Chinchilla Notebook and it got pretty big. I think I had around 37,000 subscribers on there. I don't know. I mean, that's not huge, but in the animal world, it kind of is. <laughs> Anyways, so basically I had chinchillas for around, I want to say seven to 10 years. I don't remember exactly, but I had chinchillas for a very, very long time. And I had that whole channel where I taught people how to take care of their chinchillas. So I do already have quite a bit of experience with rodents. I wouldn't call myself an expert, but I definitely knew a lot about chinchillas and the proper care for them. So even though our rabbits are gonna be outside rabbits, I still want to give them absolutely the best care possible and to do my research. So that's kind of why I chose this food. I really trust Oxbow. I used it with my chinchillas and it was amazing quality. Here is our little white guy. And I was told bunnies love to be held like this against your chest so they feel secure with you firmly holding their butt. She is just so beautiful and they're so soft. I love chinchillas, but one thing I really like about these bunnies is that you can actually hold them for longer. Chinchillas are not really lap pets. They don't like to be held. They're very, very fragile. I know bunnies are too, but chinchillas just especially, I don't know. 
They were absolutely wonderful, but bunnies are a whole different ballpark, I feel like. If you have any tips for me on bunny care, please let me know in the comments. I am not a professional. I've done quite a bit of research. I've talked to my aunt quite a bit, but there's still things that I could learn. So if you guys have any advice, if you see me doing something wrong, please let me know. I know that there's a lot of people who don't agree with keeping bunnies outside. They believe bunnies need to be indoors. I guess where I stand with that is that obviously these guys have for many generations been outdoor rabbits, but also if you provide them a good home outside and you're not neglecting them and you're taking good care of them, then I know that they can thrive just as much. I'm specifically asking advice from rabbit owners who keep their bunnies outdoors. We're definitely gonna need to cover this with some fencing or something for the night because I don't want them getting out. So it's the next morning and we have our two bunnies here on the couch and we're just cuddling with them. They are doing really well. I woke up this morning and first thing I did was go get them. <laughs> just like a fluff bomb. Adorable. So yeah, this is their dedicated towel from now on. So <laughs> they get to be picked up and cuddled in this. I'm gonna go get the, the black one and hold him for a bit too. My husband is still working on, my husband's still working on the little hutch. It's taking us a little longer than I thought. We were hoping to have the bunnies in there by tonight. Definitely seen a little bit more of their personalities come out. This guy is just a little more calm and the other guy is definitely more adventurous and outgoing. They're both extremely friendly and love to be held. <laughs> to show you i got these two heavy bowls from target the threshold brand and i loved the size of them i also loved the weight and the shape they're not in a typical bowl shape they're not gonna be able to be tipped over easily and then also from walmart today i picked up this little grooming kit only because they both are long hairs they're lion heads uh half of them at least are lion heads so i wanted to make sure that they had this we moved it from where we were building it over into like the side of our house here. I stained it today with wood so sealer. this is where we decided to place the hutch here up against the house. And I think it is absolutely amazing. The reason I wanted it here was because it's close to the hose. If we ever need to plug in a heater or a fan, we have outlets along the side of the house. Also, it's going to probably encourage more people to touch them and hang out with them, give them attention because it's not like you know, out in the middle of our yard. And I'm not gonna be giving you guys a tour right now. This is just kind of the general overview. I have a video I'm planning to do way more to this and then actually film a tour. But for now, this is kind of what it's looking like. I have a little like a chew toy. The minute I put them in here, they started doing flips and jumps and going absolutely crazy. They love it in here. As you can see, they've mowed down quite a bit of grass already. What my plans are for here is I want to add a hanging flower pot. Not that they can reach it. I just want it there for looks. I want to create a bench that can also function as a tunnel underneath the bench for us to come and sit on so that I can come and pet them easier. I wanna get them more toys. I want them to get them more things to interact with because they don't have a whole ton right now. So that is all going to happen. That's why I'm gonna to wait to film my cage tour. Also, officially we've had them gendered. This is a female. <laughs> I was so off. That is a male. Because I've decided not to spay or neuter them, we are going to be bringing him back to where he came from and hopefully getting one of her sisters. So that way we don't have to worry about that. I personally just don't want to spay them because I want to leave them natural, but also not to multiply. I want them to be with the same gender. So they're um, all from a litter. I think there's six or seven in their litter. So plenty of options, um, but I've grown really attached to her especially. And I have to choose a new name. That is it. That is us getting our little bunnies. I'm going to add a lot more entertainment and simulation for them. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you want to see some more bunny content and I will see you guys in the next one.